Boxing King Media in association with Boxro Alloys Junior Knockout Puncher Monster Beast. Uh, what do you like to be known as? It's a lost animal, really, or a lost junior. I'm not too fast. Um, but yeah, my my potential or my um, what I do is shown in the ring, and it's clear. It definitely is, man. I, you know, the first time I came across you, I, I remember I bumped into Adam Azim, and he said to me watch out for this guy. This is before you even had your debut. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll touch on your debut in a bit, but this is before you had your debut. said, so this guy, I fought with him in the amateurs, he come bang. And uh, that's a pretty good statement. I think he was 17 at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Adam and Zima in the amateurs, he was a banger as well. He used to knock out a lot of um, fighters. And for an individual at that size, um, to be banging up people, I had to ask him, bro, like, where, what's your technique? Well, you tell me your source. And then his father actually spoke to me and, he's, and his father told me that it either comes down to two things why you can't knock someone out. It's either you don't have the technique or you don't have the power. So even from young, I always had the power. So from then I was aware it was technique. So I started to, to hone on that and work on that. Uh, and then I'm sure you're bored of talking about it, but j just quick touch on your debut. You obviously mm. debuted, you lost your debut. It's like the worst night before any boxer. Mm. So how easy or difficult was it to even try and get a comeback from on the back end of that? Because nobody wants to lose it all. Yeah, no one wants to lose it all, of course. But um, at the end of the day, it's, an, it's, a, it's a life experience. Um, as I've always said, um, I have immense potential. And sometimes when, when you lose track of that and you don't have people around you that are um, aware enough, you make mistakes, you, you rush into things. So overall, um, it was a great experience for myself and again, myself. Um, you should explain the situation leading into the debut. Okay, okay. So, the situation leading into the debut. <laughs> Your trainer saying you need to explain what happened going into the debut. Okay, well, so what happened going into the debut? Yeah, literally. Yeah, so I took the fight in tw on 24 hours notice. I trained twice before the, um, before the fight. I did some technical work the morning of the fight, and then I went uh, to fight, and I lost by one point. So overall, it was a it was mayhem really. It was it was a rush, a very clear rush. But um, I learned so much from that experience. Like I like. Can I, can I say it was whatever happened? It was actually an exciting fight. Yeah. You know, what I mean, it was back to uh, back action. So promoters watching that would have known. We need to get this guy back in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. It, it just displays my character. Yeah. Um, I don't give up. I don't fold. I, I carry on pushing as much as I can go. And yeah, I fire out. Good man. And then you've decided to change gyms. You know, just tell me how the move to Ben Davidson's gym came about. Oh, okay. Um, very funny story. So essentially what happened was um, I came to spar Jamie TKV. And after I sparred um, Jamie, um, I started to ask Ben a couple questions, like, um, how can I be better? Um, what do I need to do? Because obviously, I, I heard a lot about Ben. Um, what did you hear? Just oh, his credibility, but generally speaking, I, I've heard this a lot of times before, when the coaches get a lot of credibility, but when I really pick their brain, they can't answer it. So um, I didn't really fall into, the, into that, um, what's the term? I didn't really fall into that um, perception of coaches, so I just ha I have to find out for myself before, before anything. I don't I don't just take it on the majority uh, perspective. So I started asking questions, and I could really see he understood a lot. And when I when I when I was asking these questions, and he was answering, and I was getting excited. I was like, "Yeah, this is where I need to be." Um, so I. Um, I took just one thing from that, from this, because there was so many, there's so many answers. I just took one thing, and that was just the improvement of the spa. And I was meant to spar Jamie TKV um, in two days, and for the for the two days, I, I was doing what he was telling me religiously, in the shower, in, in the kitchen, everywhere. And then in the shower. Yes, in the shower. Yeah, of course, I practice everywhere. <laughs> um, so yeah, that day comes, and I'm practicing. I'm doing it. I'm doing it in the ring, and then while I'm doing it in the ring, I looked over to, to to Ben. I was like, "Yeah, I'm doing it," and then go back to sparring. So, and after that, it completely made sense. I had to. I was aware that um, my coach wasn't growing. He wasn't. He was, and that's the thing about um, particular some coaches. They 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 think they know it all when no one knows it all. It's a, it's it's a journey. It's a you carry on going and you carry on growing. So overall. Um, yeah, this is the place to be. 
Good stuff, man. And then with regards to weight-wise, um, what is going to be the ideal weight for you? Because you look like somebody who's still growing. Um, to be honest, I don't really focus too much on that. It's just step by step for myself. Every camp, um, I, I choose to get better and better, essentially. So before beforehand, I stopped doing weight cuts and et cetera. I, I just take my, 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 my diet much more serious in terms of what I eat so I don't lose water weight beforehand because it affects your body significantly in terms of your brain health and all sorts of stuff. And if you're going to have a long, prosperous career, you want to you wanna weight cut least. If you're more disciplined, then you can handle that. You've obviously been around Anthony Joshua. Have you had the pleasure of doing any rounds with him? Sadly not, but um, that's something I'll be excited to do. We'll, we'll uh, usher Ben into doing that. Hopefully he gets an orthodox opponent. Uh, and just outside boxing, uh, Ali, just tell me, do you work? You know, what, what do you get up to outside boxing? Elaborate. When, um, do you, have you got a job or do you just do this full time? You know, what, what does you do on a day to day? Boxing full time. Boxing, boxing, boxing every single day. Almost every second I'm, I'm trying to build on what I've gained today or just in general. So um, generally I will... Uh, uh, after sessions, I take notes, go home, chill for a bit, um, do some reading, and then later on in the day, I'll, I'll, I'll go over my notes and, and go study some film and just try to understand what I understood more, um, understood in the morning so I can just apply it for the next day. Good man. Any last words before I let you go? Uh, come back, when did you come, uh, return? Um, for um, the supporters, keep watching. And... You're going to always see an exciting fight from a West Junior. Top man, appreciate your time. Thank you.